Well, good morning. Let's take our Bibles to 1 Corinthians 13 this morning. And we're going to start a three-day series in this chapter, helping us understand what should motivate us, how, did, how we, it should be defined, and that is love. And uh, 1 Corinthians 13, if you didn't know this, is referred to by many as the love chapter. And so this morning, we're going to start with the reality that without God honoring love, now that's important, not, not what our world defines as love today, but God honoring love, uh, without, without that, our best efforts are fruitless in the eyes of the Lord. In fact, let me just read the first three verses of our chapter this morning and, and just, just listen. Each verse gives us uh, something that, that we all might think would be equal to uh, love, but without love, these things do not actually produce the fruit that God wants them to. So listen to verse number one. It says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. So he starts off with that. Even if I'm the best showman in the world, I put on a big display and I put on a, a big effort and, and seem so, so godly and so angelic. If I don't have love, then that is just a lot of noise. Uh, verse number two, look what it says here. It says, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And so it's like a lot of people are in search of power so they can do big things, but they may not be motivated by a God honoring love. Even those big events without love do not move God in the way that we think that it would. And so he's saying, no, no, love is the key to all this. Look at the next verse. It says, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. And so we see this, this need, that word charity is that compassionate, um, seeing people's needs and being moved. Uh, with compassion. There are a lot of philanthropists out there that just give a lot of money. They just dump a lot of goods. They they do a lot of good things uh, because they have a lot of resources. They give their resources. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It just needs to come from the position of God honoring love. And so I want to encourage you today is what you're doing, quote unquote, for the Lord. Is it based on love for others? Is it based on love for him? Because if it's not, it's not accomplishing what you think it is. So God is trying to help us understand that without a right relationship with him, a loving relationship with him, uh, without a desire uh, to be loving to others, our efforts miss the best mark that they could they, they They do not accomplish the greatest things. And so be sure that what's motivating you is love for God and love for others, God honoring love. And I know that when we get that God honoring love in there, it actually makes everything that we do even more fulfilling. And so make sure that you are loving the way God wants you to love, and that will produce the greatest fruit and have the greatest impact. Have a great day.